Okay, so I'm back at the farmhouse and this evening Ben and his dad will be getting here really late. They have to stop and pick up our furnace on the way and some other stuff. So they're gonna be pretty late after they get off work getting here. And they may not be able to work much, but if they do, then they're gonna finish hooking up the plumbing to the water heater and stuff because all they did was just run it over in the basement and show you guys what they got finished. But they had kind of an ordeal with it on Saturday whenever we were here last. In the upstairs bathroom, I want to work on that today because if they do get that done, then we should have hot water and cold water both in the bathroom today and it should be good to go after that. So it's pretty much just up to me and getting it clean now and ready to use. Okay, so this is down in the basement underneath the addition, the new part of the house. And that right there is the foundation to the old house, like the original house. And then that's the chimney that is in the addition that is like rotted by the ceiling that we have to replace. But that is the ductwork that they have to start working on and getting, it's hooked up, but it's just like laying there. And so they have to run the rest of it through the rest of the house. So they have to get it hooked back up because a lot of it, Ben went under there and saw that a lot of it is just missing some elbows and it's not all connected. So they have to work on getting that connected and getting the wood stove set up and getting the heat exchanger put in. As you can see, they did get the water lines ran over. All that needs to be done is just get it hooked up to the water heater. We got the electric ran to it. But, so we're just kind of waiting on that because whenever they shoved the water lines, the PEX pipe, through the bottom of the house, it got tangled underneath and it is not very, if you've ever worked with it, you know that it's not very easy to like bend and flex. So they were underneath the house in a very tight area and had to get it all untangled. So that is what took so long. They spent like an hour trying to get it untangled under there. So hopefully if they get that done, then we can get some hot and cold water in the bathroom running and we can start using the bathroom. And then this week, hopefully we can get some kind of heat figured out here at the house with the wood stove and the ductwork. But we called a guy that's supposed to be pretty cheap on his prices and left a message and he's supposed to be getting back with us on if he can and has time to do this for us. Here, I got the bathroom as clean as I could without water. I still haven't cleaned the inside of the toilet and I need to use Barkeeper's Friend on the sink and bathtub. But now I'm going to try and do something with this floor because it's really nasty and all it is is old glue but from the laminate that was on there. So I'm going to use a heat gun and see if I can scrape it off. But I'm honestly not sure if it would just burn the paper because if you put it on like raw wood or just wood in general without something on it like paint then it does like burn the wood and start to catch it on fire. So I'm not sure if it'll do that with the paper or glue, whatever it is also. So if that doesn't work, the heat gun, then I'm going to try a hand sander and just sand it because it's not very big at all. And I did stop at Lowe's and pick up the paint that I needed, like the mold stop paint. So hopefully I can get the floor done and then get this cleaned up. So the heat gun works pretty good, but I'm going to go get the hand sander and a mask and gloves and just see which one works best. And because it does kind of smell like it's burning the paper, but it does get it off. So, and it leaves a little tiny bit behind, but I can always just sand that off. sander works and so does the heat gun but they take forever and the heat gun makes it smell like a bunch of burnt rubber tires and something dead in here because it like burns the paper and it's not a good smell at all you can even smell it through the mask so the only really thing the only real thing to do is sand and to stay away from that smell but it still is taking forever like it's easy I don't know if you guys have ever seen this paper but it's almost like fuzzy on top and then once you get past that, that the fuzz is easy to take off. But once you get down to like that, that is super hard to get off. So I got on YouTube and did some research. But everything that I found, everybody was saying to just use the sander. Like go rent the Home Depot sander or whatever. But I'm not looking to spend 50 bucks or whatever it is to rent it. Like the space is not big enough for that. And it's literally, I don't even, it would not be worth my time to go get the sander and 
rent it to sand down the floors especially when we're just working on this small room right now like it is literally the smallest bathroom ever so it's not worth it i saw that some people use like steamers like heat steamers but I found, and they were talking about how they use the same technique for wallpaper. But on our wallpaper, we use fabric softener and water. So I had like a little tiny drop left of fabric softener. So I scrubbed it on here and like it is so easy to take this paper off. Like it makes it so simple to take the paper off. But then you're still left with the glue on the bottom. And I don't have enough on there to like see if it actually helps the glue to come off or not but it does get it down to where you can just scrape the glue so i think what i'm going to do is go to the dollar store and go get some fabric softener and come back and spray everything down so that i can at least get the top layer of the fuzzy stuff off because once i get that off then i can just scrape the glue So I'm going to use this and they didn't even have the what I initially went there for. It's just a small hardware store. We don't have a big like we don't have a Lowe's or anything. It's just like an Ace hardware store. And so they just had this and they had two of them. So I bought what they had but it does say that it will work on adhesive and glue asphalt. So hopefully it will work for what I need it to. So that right there is where I poured the goo off stuff and as you can see it does not work. It literally just wets the floor and I don't know it doesn't do anything. It barely even softens the paper on top like the fuzzy stuff. So just using the scratcher to scrape it it does better because it like flakes the glue off. As you can see I've done that those two spots that works way better so it'll take me forever but I'll just get it done that way. Okay, so Ben just got to the farm and I had him pick me up some fabric softener and I put it in a spray bottle and diluted it half with water. And I'm going to try spraying it on the areas that I've already tried scraping and it won't come off to see if it'll like loosen the paper and the glue because that's what we use on the walls downstairs for the wallpaper and it works awesome. So I just scraped off the fabric softener where I sprayed the fabric softener and I finally found something that works and I'm so excited like like it leaves behind I don't know it looks really nasty but I think if I wipe that up with a paper towel and then sand it it'll come off so I'm gonna try that like drying it and then sanding it off with a sander and if it works I'm gonna sweep up what I have done already and then spray the floor down with a fabric softener and do the entire floor.
So I didn't get to let the fabric softener sit as long on that section of the floor and this right here what I did because they have to come in here so that they can turn on the water. So I'm done in here for the night. I got it cleaned up enough so that they can walk on it. And it works so good. Like I typically, like I have to do it in two layers and that's why I was wanting it to um, sit on there longer because back there you can see that's where I did one coat and then right here, all this is where I've done two coats except for right here that was just one coat. So it's coming along great and so far it's working so good and I'm happy I found that this works because I absolutely despise sanding. Like I don't care to like just go over the floor to finish it off, but I hate sanding stuff off like paint and just this, I do not like sanding at all. It kills my But head. they're getting ready to finish up plumbing and come up here in the bathroom, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. But hopefully tomorrow I can come back. We have an HVAC guy coming in the morning at eight o'clock to see, give us a quote on how much he'll charge to like go into the house and like fix all the duct that's there already because a lot of it's not connected. So hopefully he's within our budget and we can afford it. And then tomorrow I plan on coming back and I'll finish up these floors and clean them really good. And I'm hoping that I can get these walls wiped down and get the first coat of paint on everything. But they're at least gonna hook up the cold water tonight and then the hot water, they're not gonna hook up tonight because we're about to leave and it takes about an hour to fill up the water heater and it could possibly burn it up if the, it's not filled all the way and it kicks on. So they're gonna wait and fill it the next time that we're over here. But that's gonna be it for today's vlog. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys will like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.